Good morning, everyone. So today we're going to read a special book, but a very special person called Mami Miti, a story about a woman named Wangari Mathai, written by Donna Jo Napoli and illustrated by one of my favorite artists, Kadir Nelson. Yes, I have a lot of favorite artists and authors and subjects of books, and that's fine. But I wanna talk about some very important things first. So, mirrors on. I can identify the main idea of a book, or excuse me, a story or a book. Mirrors off. Identify, that's a big word. Identify just means I can tell someone about it. I can say that is the main idea of this book. Like that is Mr. Lee's shoe. Oh, you can't see it. That is a whiteboard. I can identify the whiteboard and tell someone what it is. So we're gonna work on focusing on that in books and we're gonna ask three big questions. Who, what, and why? So who is the book written for? Who is the book about? The second one right here, who is the book about? It's really important when we're identifying the main idea. Who is the book about? What does the book teach us? What is the book about? Let's see, so who, what is the book about? Is the book about? Why is the book important? Or why isn't the book important? And why do I like or dislike the book or story? So today, it's gonna to be really important as we're reading Mami Miti to think about who is the book about? What is the book about? All right, and then I want you to think about these other two. Why is the book important or not important? And why do I like or dislike the book, okay? All right, put my board down. Let's get reading. Ah, get a little more comfortable here. Mommy Meaty by Do uh, Donna Jo Napoli, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. Mommy Meaty, Wangari Mathai, and the Trees of Kenya. Oof, look at this beautiful artwork. Kadir Nelson is amazing. It looks like collage and painting. Mm. It's amazing. All right, let's get reading. <clears throat> On the highlands of Africa, near forests and plains in a huge salt lake, Wangari was born. The face of Mount Kenya smiled down on her. People told stories of how in the old days, sometimes the sun shone too bright, too long, and droughts came. Ooh, drought. That just means it didn't rain. Creatures suffered. Creatures are just living things like people, animals, lizards, tadpoles, frogs, turtles, plants. Creatures suffered. Plants wilted. People fought. So the men had held ceremonies under the Mugamo, the spreading sacred fig tree, and the skies blessed them with shimmering rains to slack their thirst and water their farms. Village elders placed staffs from the thingy tree between angry men and enemies became friends. Wangari listened to these stories. That's how she came to love and respect trees. That's how she came to be wise in the tradition of her family and village, of her country and continent. When Wangari grew up, she worked in the city but she always remembered her roots. She planted trees in her backyard and sat under them to refresh her body and spirit. One day, a poor woman came from the Western Valley to see the wise Wangari. Her children peeked out from behind her at the smiling woman in a bright blue cloth with squiggles all through it, like tadpoles swimming in a pool. I have too little food to feed my family, said the poor woman. There is no longer a job for me in the timber mill and I have no other skills. What can I do? Oh, gosh, look at this beautiful artwork. Looks like the sun is shining behind her. We've got our little kids there. You can see Wangari sitting down right here. Ugh. 
talking to the woman. Mm. Look at this. Look at how detailed that picture is. That's art. The Kadir Nelson drew this. Oh, it gives me shivers. Rangari took the woman's hands and turned them over. She took the children's hands one by one. These are strong hands. Here are seedlings of the Muburu tree, Muburu Muru tree. Plant them, plant as many as you can. Eat the berries. Thea Numbaya, peace, my people. So I'm gonna do my best to pronounce um, this language, it's Kenyan. Uh, I don't speak Kenyan, so I'm going to try, and I hope if somebody out there does know how to speak Kenyan, they'll help me fix my pronunciation. Maestro and Maya, Maestro Perez help me do that with my Spanish all the time. The woman and her children returned and planted trees, or excuse me, the woman and her children returned home and planted trees with their strong hands, one by one. In the years to come, when flowering season was over, the family ate the shiny round fruits they shared with their neighbors. Oops. The family ate the shiny round fruits. They shared with their neighbors who carried home the seeds, planted them, and grew their own Maburu Muru trees. Look at this beautiful picture. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't. I gotta go the other direction. Look at that. Oh, I love Dear Nelson's art. It's so good. Look at this. What do you think they're doing in that picture? Another woman came to the wise Wangari, as poor as the first. This one traveled from the mountain in the south. Her daughter stood beside her, thin as ropes. My daughters and I walk hours every day to find firewood to cook with, said the poor woman. It takes so long, we have no time for anything else. What can I do? So we see her carrying firewood, her and her daughters. It's beautiful. When Gari took the woman by the arms, these arms are strong, she said. Plant a tree. Here, the seedlings of the Mukini Duri. This tree makes good firewood. Plant as many as you can. Thea Numbaya. Peace my people. So here we see Wangari talking to this woman, handing her a seedling. Look at this. Man, this artwork is so gorgeous. Mm. Look at that. I love how Kadir Nelson does this. That's so beautiful. Oh, all right. Let's read it. The woman and her daughters planted those seedlings. In times, the tr or excuse me, in time the trees grew huge with many wide branches. The woman and her daughters cut branches for warmth. They shared new seeding seedlings with their neighbors, who carried them home and grew their own mukunduri uh, mukunduri trees. Mukunduri. I think that's I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. I'll look it up later and let you know. Oh, look at this. I love that in every picture we see the difference in the types of people coming to visit. So here, oh, did I? I did. I skipped too far ahead. I skipped a page by accident. But look, look at how all the women who come to visit look different. They're not all the same. There we go. Whew. Look at those fields. Beautiful. Oh, man, I just love, love this artwork. Wood passed from woman to woman, or excuse me, word passed from woman to woman until all over Kenya, women knew about the wise Wangari. They came to her from every direction, one after another, as the years went by. Look at this. Oh. So many different people, animals, plants. Look at that. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Our goats are starving, said a woman from the northern desert. I have barely enough food to feed my family. How can my husband feed the animals too? Plant a tree. Uh, 
Ooh, this one's going to be a little hard. Muther Gendi, Muther Gendi, I think. A Muther Gendi, the leaves are good animal fodder. Plant as many as you can. Thea Numbaya, peace, my people. My cows are sick, said another from the savannah. I have no money to buy medicine for them. Plant a tree. Uh, Mutha Kawala Wa Athi, the, the leaves cure gall sickness in cattle. Thea Numbaya, peace, my people. Wild animals come in the night and steal my chickens, said a woman from a fishing village. She shook her head and worried. Plant a tree. A mukawawa, its thorns will keep out predators. Thea, Numbaya. Peace, my people. My home fell apart, came the cry of another woman who had to come all the way from the coast. We have no shelter. Plant a tree. Uh, Mulu Hakua, I think. The timber makes good building poles. Thea, Numbaya. Peace, my people. Wingari told women to plant mungano. Those branches make good stakes for training yam vines. She told them to plant mutholi as a living fence around their animal yards. She told them to plant mugoya, whose leaves could be wrapped around bananas to ripen them. She told them to plant morgana for the pure joy of their white flowers. Oh, I gotta go back and, yeah, we looked at those pictures. Let's look at this one. Oof. Oof. All of these different plants and trees that Wingari is telling these people to plant, these women. It's amazing. Gosh, look at this artwork. It is so gorgeous. I love this artwork. Ugh. And when a woman came from her own village, lamenting that the water in her stream was too dirty to drink, Wangari told her to plant Mukoya, the giant sacred fig, the drinker of water, which acts as nature's filter to clean streams. Thea Numbaya, peace, my people. All of these plants are native to Kenya and Africa. Uh. Soon, cool, clear waters teemed with black wiggling, wriggling tadpoles like the ones on Wangari's clothes, like the ones Wangari marveled at in the waters when she was small, when Kenya was covered with trees and animals, when people lived in peace with nature. And Kadir Nelson. When Mari Mathai is an absolutely amazing person. I keep talking about this art, but the, she's just telling people about plants. It's amazing. All over the countryside, the trees that had disappeared came back. Nairobi, the capital city, have been known as Kiniuni, the place where there are many Muni trees. Now it is it was Kiniuni again, Kenya was strong once more, strong and peaceful. Beautiful. I'd love to go to Kenya sometime. Oh, look at all these people. Look at this. Mm, love it. When Gari changed a country, tree by tree, she taught her people the ancient wisdom of peace with nature. And now she is teaching the rest of the world. She is known these days as Mama Miti, the mother of trees. A green belt of peace started with one good woman offering something we can all do. Plant a tree. Thea Numbaya, peace, my people. Here is Kadir's, Kadir Nelson's portrait of Mama Miti or Wangari Mathai. And she's still alive. She's doing work right now. All right. I'm going to read this afterward. So an afterward is a part of a book that just comes at the end and gives us a little more information. <clears throat> Wangari Muta Mat uh, 